Hey, Youth City, what's up? Uh, welcome to another episode of Wednesday Rally Show. I'm your host, Chris, and with me, as always, is uh, Bob Marley. Bob, how are you, buddy? Amen. <laughs> Amen? Amen. <laughs> we've got a great show for you tonight. Uh, we've got a Zoom session with Jackson Neal coming up. He's going to tell us all about uh, preparing for college during the coronavirus, so stick around for that. And our musical guest is our very own Ben, the Rocket Man Stapleton, with a performance. So stick around for that as well. And uh, I've got a few cool announcements uh, to give you throughout the video. So stick around. It's going to be a great show. So instead of doing a hilarious monologue like I usually do, I figured we could take a look back at life before social distancing. So here is a Youth City Rewind. Yeah, and this is the end. Bella is the last one. Bella and Alora. Bella and Alora. Who's gonna win? <laughs> oh, it's bright. I gotta see what it looks like. <laughs> Carrots. Fuck. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <Chick -a. laughs> Alright, so now let's go to our special guest, our very own Jackson Neal. Uh, here we go. Let's take a look. Hey, Neil, what's up? What's up? How are you? Good. Every day is the best day of my life. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Well, uh, so... Um, uh, so how have you been? How have you been doing with the whole staying indoors thing? Um, it's as good as it can be. You know, I'm as a senior, I'm having a hard time with like the last, you know, and not getting some of the last and everything being canceled. But I mean, you gotta make the best of it, you know. Yeah, I bet that's been kind of a kind of a bummer. I mean, what I what are some things bit. that you've? Uh, what are some things that got canceled on you? Um, well, the one that I'm a little nervous in, it's not, nothing's been said yet, but graduation, of course, was supposed to be May the 22nd, I think. Mm -hmm. And I, of course, I don't think it's going to happen on May 22nd, but I don't think it's canceled. I think it's just postponed until said otherwise, mm -hmm. which is good. Um, but of course, my, uh, my senior trip got canceled. Um, mm -hmm. I had a senior trip with some friends that got canceled, uh, prom got canceled uh just stuff like that and i and you know if uh, i was kind of upset the last day we went to school if that is the last day you know we we could go back you never know you know a miracle may happen but if we don't it was kind of upset that that was like the last day and i didn't realize it you know? oh yeah that's true yeah you didn't get to like you know damage the school or set anything <laughs> exactly. on fire or anything spray paint my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man yeah well um it's, it's all it's all stuff that just happens you know and i look back and there's not going to be another person on the planet that's going to have a senior year story like this so that's pretty unique you know that is pretty true pretty yeah that's cool. kind of cool you, you can i can imagine you right now with the cane and like oh back in my day we didn't have senior <laughs> year <Yeah. laughs> Exactly. man what yeah. all have you been doing for getting ready for college well, yesterday I called, it was a Zoom, but it was to, um, it wasn't a guidance counselor. She was a teacher, mm. but she helped me sign up for my classes. Ah, okay. Which is super cool. And so I'm taking, I'm going to take two summer classes mm. and then I'm going to take the, um, the semester class. Ah. So I've got the first, the fall semester set up and I've got, um, the summer class is set up, which is pretty cool. Nice. Okay. And do yeah. you, I mean, do you think that these will be like on campus classes or online classes? Or how, what do you think is going to happen? Um, I'm pretty sure the summer classes are going to be online. Um, and if they do become on campus, it'll be later in the summer towards the end of the class. Mm. And excuse me, I even talked to her and she said, as of right now, it'll be online even in the semester. Mm. But until unless said otherwise, so it could it could be on campus. Just it just depends, and they'll um, they'll let me know sooner 
the closer we get to it during the later summer. Oh, okay, that's cool. Well, uh, yeah. so what kind of advice would you give to someone that's like a freshman or sophomore or whatever, and they're going to be preparing for college classes soon? Oh, that's a great question. I know. Um, <laughs> so the ACT is really important, and I would absolutely say to take the ACT – at least once a year and if you haven't taken it your freshman year that's fine i didn't take mine until my junior year and i wish that i'd have taken it at least during my sophomore year um not to get the the number grade on the act that you want but at least to get kind of used to it you know hmm. um and definitely your junior and senior year take some dual, dual enrollment classes those are good wake up you know they're good college classes while you're still in high school mm -hmm. and they're not every day so you get to sleep in which is awesome <laughs> yeah that's cool so how has uh staying indoors helped you see things in a different way oh um okay so i would definitely say since so many people including myself was having to stay indoors um and so many places like uh like even like walmart is kind of it's not it's still open but it's kind of more concealed and they're trying to lessen the stuff and um i would definitely say that it's changed the way that i look that everybody has a purpose you know mm. that everybody plays a role in society and it's yeah. just even if it's a school teacher or if it's uh flipping hamburgers at mcdonald's or working at a big corporation you know everybody's got a uh a play in society and everybody's got a um, a job that they're born to do and it just it's crazy to see how they all fit together and what happens when some of them aren't open and some mm. of them aren't working you know? yeah and it definitely makes me thankful for the people out there who do work and who do do those jobs because there's some that can't do them right now because of you know the stuff going on but that definitely has opened my eyes to be more thankful for the people that i normally wouldn't be thankful for I heard you have a, a Bible verse that you wanted to share with us. Uh, what you got? I chose Jeremiah twenty nine eleven, and that is, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. All right. Yeah, that's a great one. My mom, that's like her favorite verse of all time. Really? <laughs> yeah. Good. She chose a good one. Hey. Yeah. So, uh, so why did you choose that verse? Uh, I definitely chose this because, you know, with being a senior and choosing – with college it's definitely a big choice and i am to this day not really certain i've made the right choice and i don't think i'm going to be ever you know um but since this is the choice that it's worked out i just i know that it's what the lord wants me to do and it's not it, it may be bumpy and there's going to be some potholes and sticks fall down in the road but it's what it's supposed to be you know and that's going to shape me as i who i am and um especially with all this uncertainty right now the uncertainty of, well, what if I don't get to graduate? What if we don't get to have prom? It's like, even if you don't get that, it's just part of the plan. It's just part of the road, you know? Mm. And this is God seriously telling me that this is what he's planned for me, and this is how it's supposed to go, and I just need to sit back and let Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> nice i like that <laughs> oh that's great well uh well jackson i hope you're holding up all right um thanks so much for for joining us here and uh Absolutely. thank you for having me uh, well dude thanks for hanging out with us i uh, hope you have a good rest of the day and uh we'll talk again soon okay yeah you too man thank you all right talk to you later bud bye, bye. and now we have a special musical guest ben the rocket man stapleton he's got a little something for us so let's take a look at that Good day, everybody. It is great to be on this video with you today. Wish I was there in person, missing you in youth choir, missing you at church. We'd be doing the rummage cell today, missing you for that. Uh, a little song of encouragement today. It's called Whom Shall I Fear? I think everybody knows it. I encourage you to either sing along or if you don't really want to sing, just close your eyes and contemplate.
you guys. Wow, that was so, so awesome, Ben. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. We really appreciate it. So I said I had a surprise for you guys, and uh, here's what it is. As you can see, I'm wearing this t-shirt, a selfie t-shirt that I made, and uh, I've been asking for your t-shirt sizes because I want us to make selfie t-shirts together over a Zoom session. So uh, I'm going to hand deliver a t-shirt and paint supplies to your door and we can all get on Zoom together and uh, make this selfie t-shirt. And I just think it'll be so much fun. It's gonna be awesome. I'll let you guys know when the Zoom session is gonna be. And uh, if you haven't sent me your t-shirt size and you want a selfie t-shirt, then uh, send it to me and I'll get you one. So let's make selfie t-shirts together. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so now it's time for some prayer requests, and we have a few. We have one from Natalia Mara. She writes that her 16-year-old neighbor is having heart complications, so we want to pray for them and their family and for the doctors and nurses that are taking care of this. Uh, we want to pray for health. Um, and let's see, we want to continue to pray for uh, Ainsley's dad, uh, that he continues to uh, uh, you know, keep selling cars and uh, also to keep safe from the coronavirus. And, uh, you know, I'd, I want to extend that to the rest of the FUMC family that, um, that God continues to provide for the people of our church and that God continues to keep us safe. Um, and if you have any more prayer requests, then be sure to send them to me and we'll get them out there. So, well, that's all the time that we have for the Wednesday Rally Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be on the lookout for your selfie t-shirt on your doorstep and keep in touch on Instagram, Snapchat uh, to find out when we're going to make the shirts. And also take a look at our new TikTok uh, channel. I'm going to put some videos out uh, using that. And uh, if you uh, have any ideas for what I could put in the next Wednesday Rally show, let me know. And also uh, keep sending me your prayer requests. And as always, I miss you guys, I love you guys, and we will see you next time.